Hi, my name is Ben. I'm here to talk about my experience and also to give out advice to other people out there to try to support deaf people in the community. Anyway, I will talk about my experience and my journey throughout my life. I was 17, I've been deaf for 17 years, basically all through my life. I'm from a hearing family, so so basically I was raised speaking, also signing on to it, but me basically speaking. Anyway, how do I hear? I have amazing technology, so there can be four different options. One of them is hearing aid, that's the one I've got. And there's another one, a cochlear implant. And another one, Baja, which is on the same as the cochlear but different technology. And the last one, it can be nothing. If you want to choose to hear, nothing. That's cho their choice. Anyway, I will show you my hearing aid. Show you. A few of you might don't know what hearing aid is. Hearing aid is the technology to help few deaf people to hear not only everything but like basics or important sound or they can hear anyway got purple this is the ear mold that goes into your ear this is the hearing aid it's like a computer technology that will produce it will like speak the sound into my hearing aid the speaker, like the how to get the sound from, is from the top, also from the bottom, yeah, and basically the sound goes into the hearing aid, and it comes out here, then it goes into my ear, which is good, and the way, the other technology that I have a bit of knowledge about is cochlear implant. Cochlear implants involve a major operation. It's the same as a hearing aid but bigger and it's got a coil which is an implant. You have an implant in the skull and you have a new magnet on the outside. I think it works the same way as a hearing aid but the sound goes in the ear. It's called a cochlear implant because you have an implant in the cochlear, in the ear. So it's pretty obvious why it's called cochlear implant. But ha, I only have a little knowledge about it because I've got two friends who's got it. I think it's screwed in the it behind the ear, and you have like a screw, and you have on the outside it's like a box, and the outside it's the same as a hearing aid, but it's got this box, and it's got like a um, volume on it, and you switch it off and switch it on. And the other one is nothing. People don't wear hearing aids, even if you don't know it is. But it's the way they want. It can be their life choice, or it can be their culture and their family. For example, their parents are deaf, wear no hearing aid, so it comes down to the child. Anyway, it was it wasn't hard life for me. Because I was raised in the human family, so basically I mix with human people and that sort of thing. My first language is speaking, not signing, so it does make a big difference. But when I was born, when they found out that I was there, they told my parents, saying that I won't be able to speak, I won't be able to hear or I won't be able to need a good social life or like that but I'm 17 I'm full time at college I can speak, I can hear I'm well, not hear perfectly well but I can hear a little bit which I do appreciate and so it's just a good thing anyway I will tell you about my journey through my life well, when I was born, I was fitted with a hearing aid when I was about 18 months, I think. But 
don't really have a knowledge when I was a baby then but I had delayed traumas all of my life but obviously when I was little you don't understand why you have to buy lemonade then it started to I keep taking them out because it wasn't it was too noisy and that sort of thing and it hurts in my ear and my ear wasn't used to it back then I keep taking them out when I was about eight you start wearing them and you got used to it I still wear it because it does help me a lot yeah it helps me a lot it helps me to communicate it helps me to hear and that sort of thing and then you know in year six when you have facts or did it pass moved on to second school but I went to mainstream school not fully deaf school um I had a hearing impaired unit which helps a lot I have TA in, in the class with me every lesson. What basically what TAs do to me, they take notes and they make sure I understand. But it can be different to deaf school if you go. But I don't have any knowledge or experience of going to deaf school because I've never been. Anyway. I was halfway through my GCSEs a lot of people would have thought deaf people would be able to do GCSEs or be able to do English or math and that sort of thing because we were labelled uh, deaf and dumb back in years ago but obviously I proved them wrong I passed my GCSEs and my yeah, maths, English, maths, science. Um, yeah, so which is good for me that I passed three of them. But even though I struggle in English, the reason for that because I'm deaf, I don't listen to all the sounds or all the words. And my grandma is not good. Not not. Not it's not um perfect but I can do it but it's quite hard to do it yeah so now I'm at college at the moment doing health and social kind of a thing it was quite hard but it's what I want to do I want to go to uni university so that's what my aim my aim to go to uni but People think, oh, deaf people can do this and this and this and this and that. If you look at disability people, like, you know, a lot of disability people and they do something that, cha that actually helps. Just because we can't hear doesn't mean we can't do anything. I mean, I do sport coaching, number one last year I worked in school as my volunteering um, I work a volunteer at my local deaf club and I'm mixing with hearing people well um, but what really annoys me was other people out there thinking oh hey, look she's deaf or he's deaf saying oh they won't be able to speak or they won't be able to hear I'm speaking right now but a few people out there don't speak they sign or they don't write they sign doesn't mean that you can't speak to them or me you can there's different method of communication speaking <laughs> Speaking, signing, writing, like notes, or using your hand gesture, which is the same as signing, but like point at things and that sort of thing. Or, very, very, very popular way, texting, like you text a message on your phone and show it to them and show it back and 
that way. Which it can be fun. But please don't like be afraid to see us or try to talk to us. I mean it's not like we're gonna go really angry on you or something. But my advice for people out there with deaf child never listen to the consultant who say your child wouldn't be able to do this and this and this and that because they're deaf. Okay, more of the way when I'm doing well. I mean I got three qualifications and six, seven GCFEs and I'm at college at the moment aiming to uni so I can do it I'm pretty sure all of the deaf people can do it so there's no you know I understand there's no barriers but it's worth breaking the barriers down for example me I needed like support I will fight for that support I have support at college I have an interpreter so it does help yeah and also also just no need to be scared to talk to any of us, me or other deaf people it's not like we're gonna ignore you well we might ignore you but if you can hear maybe you can tap on the shoulder but please do not shout that what annoys me people shout thinking we'll be able to hear yes one question if someone shouted at you would you be able to hear that's the question. If you can't hear someone shouting at you, how would you expect us to hear? Also, talking really slow. Please don't do that. That really, really annoying. Like, how are you? That will drive me mad. Literally drive me mad. Anyway, I hope this small like inspire you or help your knowledge up a bit also i will like try to give out more videos so i can think of something and that sort of thing